Back now at 844 this morning on today's Fountain of Youth, Fit to Boom. It's a new MSN web series showcasing stories of some great folks who are reinventing themselves and in the process finding new joy in life. This morning, a woman who's nicknamed the old lady, but this is no ordinary senior citizen. Watch. My name is Judy Myers. I'm 66 years young. I feel wonderful. I feel like I have a new lease on life. Judy Myers began her career teaching phys ed and went on to work as a college administrator for 18 years. I would take the hour I had for lunch and I'd go rollerblading. So even though you're in the office and you're at the desk the majority of the time, I still found time during my day to be active. Okay, Annie, run, 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 run. I've always been physical. I've always been active. Um, I've always been a person that's in involved in sports. My family has um, always been on or near the water. Uh, we grew up with boats. We grew up uh, at a cottage right, at, right on a lake. All right, here we go, another day on the water. At the age of 53, Judy picked up a new hobby. We had a friend that she was barefoot water skied, and we'd always watch these people in awe, but thought, ooh, that'd be cool. It's a hobby that changed her life. The first time you put your feet in that water, it, it's something you can't describe because you look around and you're actually walking on water. We it truly gave me a new ambition and a new goal and made me realize that I didn't have to sit behind that desk anymore. With her academic career now behind her, from February to mid-May, Judy volunteers at a Florida shop that teaches barefoot water skiing. For this, I get paid the great sum of, I get to water ski all I want for free. <laughs> and she's taking it to a whole new level. I am the woman's oldest competing barefoot water skier. I've won a Barefoot of the Year award for the Western region. I've won medals at tournaments, uh, first and second places. Life is too short to spend it doing something you do not 100% enjoy. I cannot imagine my life without doing this. And Judy Myers is here along with CNBC's Sharon Epperson. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Judy, when I came and I was giving you a hard time, I said, you know, they make these things called skis and you put them on your feet. This whole thing began as a lark and you told the instructor you get one shot to make me like this, right? Absolutely. It was a friend and, and I said, you got one shot on me. There's three people trying it and the first two kind of fell on their rear end, so to speak, and I went out and put my feet in the water and this is where I am now. Were you looking for something unusual, something really out there that would challenge you? No, I just loved the water and, and I, I saw this and I thought, I just have to try that. And, so, and you were 53, so is, is this, is it recreation? Is it a new way to earn money? What do you call it? It's not a way to earn money and it's more than recreation. It's actually a new lifestyle for me. It's really done a lot to change my life and taking where I am. And Sharon, that's something a lot of us are going to confront. We get to a certain point, you, you got to turn a new leaf, new lifestyle. People are redefining aging. They're redefining what it means to retire. Judy says she quit her job. She's doing something different. She's not saying she's in retirement because what does that really mean right now? And a lot of boomers are doing that. They may be collecting their first social security check starting now, but that doesn't mean they're retired. Well, because people increasingly talk about what am I going to do when I'm retired, as if working is still part of the thing. Maybe I won't be doing this job, but do we have to assume that we're going to have to have some kind of occupation? Well, AARP did a study recently. About 80% of boomers are planning to work in retirement, and yes, a lot of folks are going to have to do something because of financially they've been laid off perhaps from a job, they've lost their retirement funds. There are reasons why they may have to do this, but there are also a lot of passions that they want to pursue and this is the time they're able to do them. Judy, does it does it make you feel young Are you doing something like that? It keeps you young. It doesn't make me feel younger because I don't think I'm old. Ah, good answer. <laughs> yeah. Good answer. But is it is it difficult? Um, to some people they think it's difficult. To me I just thought it was fairly easy. Now there's a lot more things that are more difficult in barefoot water skiing than I do, but I'll get there one day. And, and Cheryl, what kind of resources are out there for people well, looking for something? She's doing exactly what people need to do. They need to look at what they want, what their skills, what their talents are, what their work values are, their places to do self-assessments online about that, like quintcareers.com. And then a lot of people who want to do something like create a business, a lot of boomers are doing that now. There is the SBA, the Small Business Administration, has a 
50 plus entrepreneur site has a ton of resources there free resources for you score.org another great right. resource and the thing that Judy has done all of her life is to be active and maintain a healthy lifestyle that opens up opportunities for you that you cannot imagine you are a role model thank you, you know that. <laughs> and all inspiration. Right. Judy thank Myers you. inspiration indeed and Sharon Everson good to have you both here this morning thank coming you. up next Meredith Vieira the cover girl whoa but first this is today on NBC Thank <laughs> you.